I'm just watching another version of the BBC on the Vancouver Broadcasting Corporation. Watching the game tonight, it's um, 4 nothing. Vancouver. Vancouver? Okay. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. It's 4 nothing Boston. Wow. I've been thinking. I've been a little bit hurt on the Vancouver fans. It's not your fault, guys and girls, that the uh, Jim Houston and Glenn Heehee are so partial. Haley, you better find yourself a new line of work, because this one sure don't fit your pistol. I long for the days of the Toronto goal scored by number 17, Wendell Clark. Dick Irvin. Lanny McDonald. Henderson scores for Canada! Harry Neal. Harry Neal? Wise men, yes. People who actually knew the game worked very hard at hiding their allegiance to hockey teams. Go Leafs, go. But I also realize that this same BBC is the TBC all year long, with the exception, of course, of the playoff time, which my beloved Leafs is just not there. And I've been really feeling bad about my team, of course. But this time, every year, I'm feeling bad about this team. I cheer for them all year. There's nothing else they do in the spring of the year. Um, I'm not sure where they all are right now. I don't see them on television, especially not on BBC. The Vancouver Broadcasting Corporation. Go Leafs, go. So we have to have a backup team. And here in Eastern Canada, a lot of us have chosen the great team of Bobby Orr. What about that Bobby Orr? All you Leafs fans out there are going to have something to cheer about next century. Once again, I'm an ordinary man in an ordinary city in eastern Canada who cheers for the Maple Leafs 80 games, 82 games, 82 games of the year and the rest of the year, games I cheer for some other team. Sorry guys, sorry Canucks, go Leafs go. Boston will win in Vancouver and the score will be 3-2. Gianni Canuck, you're going to be ruined by a Bruin.